Hey guys, my name is Jibran and welcome to my channel where I make videos for expats living in Germany. Until now, I have covered topics like different visas in Germany, citizenship in Germany, buying a house in Germany, different insurances, banks, credit cards and many other things. So if you're interested in those things, then you can find them on my channel and some of the important ones I have already posted in the video's description. Now, if you have landed on this video, then that means that either you already bought a car and now you're looking for a car insurance or you are planning to buy a car. I have already made a video about how to buy a car in Germany. You can check it out. And if you have any confusions about the process, I have experienced this myself. And that is why I've explained this process in that video and also gave some of the pro tips along the way in this video. So you can check that out. You'll find the link in the description. Now let's discuss the car insurance in Germany. So if you are thinking that is it possible to own a car without insurance, then it is not possible. By law, every car in Germany should have at least third party liability insurance because without that, they will not even let you register your car and get a number plate. And without a number plate, you can't even park a car on a public street because a car without a number plate is not insured. This shows that how important it is in Germany that you should have a car insurance because every car should be insured. The basic car insurance is the, like the third party liability insurance. In German, it is called Haftpflichtversicherung. This insurance covers all the damages that are caused by you to another person or another person's property. In simple words, if you cause an accident, then your insurance company will pay for the damages for the other person. Besides this half flesh, we have two other types of insurances. One is called partial coverage, tile casco, and the other one is called full casco, which is like full coverage. In the partial coverage, besides the third party liability, your insurance company will also cover damages to your car, but they only cover the damages if these things happen to your car. Like number one, if your car is damaged due to any fire or explosion, Number two, if somebody stole your car or stole some parts of your car. Number three, if the nature causes the damage, then it is covered, for example, uh, damage due to hailstorm, due to flood, due to lightning. So these are the damages that is caused by nature. Number four, if your car gets damaged due to any internal short circuit. Number five, like a glass break or a crack on the windshield due to a bird strike or a small pebble. Number six, damage caused by animals, like if you got hit by a deer or maybe some small animal, bite the internal wiring of your car. Beside these, your insurance provider can add other things, but it depends on your insurance provider. Like for example, some insurance provider also covers the cost of key lost and a replacement of car locks. So as I said, it depends. Now you might be asking that what happens if I hit somebody by mistake, then who will cover the damage of my car? This comes in the full coverage car insurance like full casco. Full casco covers everything which I mentioned in Hartlich and Tile Casco. In addition to that, Full Casco also covers the damages caused by hit and run. And also if somebody intentionally damages your car, then it also covers that. In short, Full Casco covers many things which Tile Casco and Hartlich Physician do not cover. After this, the question arises that which insurance you should get. This thing depends on the value of your car. Let's say that if you can afford the damage caused by either by an accident or uh, somebody else's vandalizes your car, then you can go for half flesh. But if you think that you just bought a new car and you want a full coverage because you know that a small dent could easily cost a few thousand euros. So if you don't want to spend more on the damages uh, of your car, then you can go for full casco. Then comes the question that how much these insurances cost? Half flesh insurance is the cheapest one in all these three insurances and then comes the tile casco and the full casco is the most expensive one in all these three. I can't tell you the exact amount of these insurances because it depends on number of different factors. For example, let's say number one type of car and the manufacturing year of the car. My driving instructor told me once that half the of old cars is higher than the new cars because usually people who drive old cars are less careful than that is why they cause more accidents. Number two, how old is your driving license? Number three, your history of the accidents. If you have caused few accidents in past, then you will have higher insurance than somebody who has accident free history. Number four, the number of people who will drive that car. If you are a single person, then it is cheaper. If you uh, want to add whole family of yours, then it might be expensive. Number five, the place where you live because some cities have more cases of hit and run than others. Number six, the number of kilometers you will drive per year. Number seven, the purpose of your car. Is it personal or is it commercial? Because if you are self-employed, you're using your car for your business, then it might be different. Number eight, the parking area of your car. Yes, believe me, it is also important because if you're parking your car on a public street, then there are higher chances of hit and run than in your private garage. These are the factors that will either make your insurance expensive or cheaper, but it, I have few 
pro tips which can help you to reduce your insurance. Number one, choose your self retailing wisely. In English, it means deductibles. This is the amount which you have to pay in case of damage. For example, if you cause an accident and the repair cost of that damage is like 1000 euros and your deductible is only 300 euros, then this means that you have to pay only 300 euros and your insurance company will pay the remaining 700 euros. It is recommended that your deductible for tile casco should be 150 euros and for full casco should be 300 euros but it depends how much you want to set because this will also affect your car insurance. You can also have zero deductible if you want. Second tip, always choose to pay your insurance annually because if you choose a, like a monthly, quarterly and half yearly payment method then it will increase the total annual insurance fee. So pay once per year and reduce the total cost of insurance. Number three, annual kilometer usage. As I mentioned that it is one of the deciding factors of your insurance cost because if you drive more per year, then there are higher chances of getting into an accident. And if you drive less, then you have fewer chances of getting into an accident. So give a realistic number here. If you are a weekend driver, then you might not need much kilometers. But if you drive every day to your work for, let's say 50 kilometers, then you might need to add these kilometers and estimate them realistically. One important thing here is that suppose if you mention that you only drive 10,000 kilometers per year, but in reality, you drive around 15,000 kilometers per year, then this could be a problem if you ever claim the insurance because at that time, the insurance company can say that you are driving more than you mentioned in your contract and this could be the reason for your accident and they will not cover some part of the damages. But don't worry if you underestimated or overestimated your kilometers because after six months or maybe three months, if you think that you are driving more or less, you can tell them and they will going to adjust it in your contract and maybe suppose if you overestimated it, then they might reduce your car insurance uh, cost or maybe return you some money. Fourth pro tip, if you already have car insurance in your home country, then you can also ask your old insurance provider to give this record to your German insurance provider. Well, this depends on your home country as well, because some countries do not have this thing. For example, I don't think so. We have this thing in Pakistan or maybe they will accept this thing from Pakistan at least no idea fifth tip drive carefully and don't cause an accident because with each accident free year your chardon fry height class a number will increase in english it means no claim classes if you don't make any claims to your insurance provider then each year your no claim classes will increase which eventually means that you pay less car insurance usually when you buy a new car in germany you don't have any driving history in germany then your chardon fry height class a starts from zero and it increases with every accident free year. Here's a table which shows that how much bonus you can get with each SF class. A friend of mine gave me this tip when I was a student that I should buy a, like a cheap scooter like a moped and register it with insurance. Then the insurance of such a scooter is usually below like 100 euros, 50 euros, something like that per year. And if I stay accident free for four years, then by the time I buy a proper car, I would be already at SF4, which means I will pay approximately 40% less than the guy who just started with SF class A zero. Number six tip, some insurances also have dedicated workshop and they say that if you always take your car insurance to these workshops, then you get some discount on your car insurance. Number seven tip, every year you can change your insurance provider if you want and find the cheaper one. Most of the car insurance provider renews your contract on the 1st of January. And if you want to change them, then you have to find another one before November 30th and the change the contract. Keep that in mind that your SF class A will not have any impact if you change your insurance provider. Last tip, if you're already self-employed, then you can declare your car insurance as your expenses in your tax declaration. But if you are employed, then you can only declare like some percentage of your car insurance when you are filing a tax return, then keep this thing in mind. This is all you need to know about the insurances. Now I will tell you the best car insurance companies and also some platforms where you can find one. Number one is get safe. I have a legal insurance with them and I like their service as well. That is why I always mention them in my insurance related videos. They offer also car insurance, but they are currently only accepting customers who wants to move from other insurance to get safe. They are not entertaining like first timers like SF class is zero, for example. For that, I have another platform which I will mention in a moment. But first, I would like to mention few key factors here. The key features from get safe like number one, they give 5% discount every year if you don't go any accident number two you can add up to five additional drivers in your car insurance number three you can cancel your contract at any time you are not bounded by a year-long contract 
So this is also something good. Sometimes get safe gives discounts. So if I find one, I will add it in the description. Beside this, I have also mentioned get safe in my other insurance related videos, for example, like private liability insurance, dental insurance and legal insurance. So if you want like one insurance provider for all of these insurances, then you can go for get safe and get everything covered on one place. Now, after that, I have two other platforms where you can check out different insurance providers by adding your details and then directly sign the contract with them. The first one is called Verivox and the other one is called Tariff Check. I can just show you the screenshot of the website because as I mentioned that the insurance depends on different factors. So you can go to their website, add all the details about you, your license, your uh, car, and they will find the different insurance providers for you. And then you can directly choose from these platforms and make a contract. Keep one thing in mind that sometimes you get better offers from these platforms because such platforms get exclusive offers from the insurance companies. That is why it is cheaper to make contract with these platforms than directly with the insurance provider. I can tell you one other company which is usually not listed on these platforms. It is called Hook24. They handle everything online and even when you want to make a claim, then you can go to their platform or maybe you can call them or email them. They will handle everything online. My motorcycle is insured with them and they were the cheapest at the time I bought the, this uh, motorcycle. So I would also suggest this platform. You can find all the links in the description. One last thing that recently my wife made a Facebook group where she shares different deals and offers from Germany. You can get up to 80% discount. So if you are interested in that, then you can either join uh, the Facebook group and the, or the Telegram group. That all depends on you. That is all from today. Please do subscribe to the channel and like the video and also like my other videos that will help me grow. And yeah, all those things. See you next time. Till then. Ciao, ciao.